Hi everyone! Today we are going to be making my cream cheese and apple filled crescent rolls. So I'm going to read the ingredients to you, the instructions on what you need to do this lovely recipe. So first you need a 8x8 eight eight square baking pan. Sorry, let me catch my breath. <laughs> Four square servings, and we already sprayed it with Pam spray. And this is older than my mom. My Nana gave this to my mom, and now my mom's passing it on to me. So here's the ingredients. You need one package of crescent roll dough. You need three medium apples, peeled, cored, and diced. You need eight ounces of room temperature cream cheese. It can be soft, it can be hard, it just has to no, be room it's temperature. Room temperature. Yeah, it, it has to be, be yeah. Um, you need one cup of sugar, three tablespoons divided, a pinch of nutmeg is in here, and what is in there actually is the three tablespoons divided into here, which I just said, and then there's cinnamon in here. And um, two, two and a half teaspoon cinnamon. Now we have one and a half teaspoon vanilla extract, and then one fourth a cup of butter to put on the crescent rolls. Excuse me. <laughs> so here we go. Let's start the instructions and then I will start popping this thing open. So the instructions are preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. In a small bowl, mix two tablespoons of sugar with two tablespoons of cinnamon, set aside for the topping at the end. In a small saucepan, add chopped apples, excuse me, two tablespoons of sugar, a half a teaspoon of cinnamon, pinch of nutmeg, and two teaspoons of water. Excuse me! <laughs> Cover simmer on low for about eight minutes until apples are almost soft. Uncover and allow to cool. Unroll half a package of crescent roll dough. Press the seams together and place on an eight, on the bottom of an eight by eight pan. That's older than my mom. <laughs> Uh, in a medium bowl, combine softened cream cheese, sugar, and vanilla. Stir with a wooden spoon until thoroughly combined. Spread over dough and pan. Add your cooled apples. Unroll remaining four crescent rolls. Press seams together and place on top of the cooled apple layer and pan. Top with melted butter. Sprinkle evenly cinnamon sugar mixture you mixed, which is right here. I explained that already, so rewind the video if you need to do anything with that. Bake for 20 to 30 minutes until bubbly and slightly browned. Brown. <laughs> Allow to cool, slice, and serve. Top of the drizzle of honey. Sopalita. Sop. Try again. Sopapi. Sopapilla. Hello. Sopapilla. 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 Um, style or serve with vanilla ice cream or whipped cream. Enjoy. So I'm gonna do it in order. So I'm not gonna pop this. Should I pop this? Yes. You well, you have to open it. Yeah, mommy. <laughs> Go ahead. It might not pop. Just pull it open. Don't be scared. Don't be shy. Put some more. Go ahead. Keep keep going. Keep going. <clears throat> It might be a dud. Oh, look at that. It might be. Keep going. Mommy. Keep going. <laughs> okay. Now there's eight crescent rolls in there. So take out about half. Do you need help? Do you want to pause? Yeah. Okay. We'll pause. Okay, everyone. So we're back. It was way harder than I thought. So you might want to have a parent around or if you're older, you can just, it takes like about like 10 minutes, but if you have an older brother or sister, sister, or you have a parent around, just use that parent. So basically I just added a sugar, some sugar in here, and then we added our vanilla in here. So now I'm mixing it up. So now you're going to spread it on top. So take the bowl over and carefully, because that's a glass bowl so we could show everyone what we're doing and just take your time and just dump it in, just spoonful by spoonful. This is very heavy. 
It'll be all right. You can put it down next to you. Yeah, I'm gonna put it down next. Put it down. Just use. Can I get a spoon? Yes. Okay. Use the spoon from the apples. Okay. It's a perfect size, and you can use your hands because you've washed, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. So we're gonna put that. Can I just lick it? It was really good. It's okay. I mean, it's you're going to be eating it now. If you were making this for someone else, you would never do that. No. Right. So get this the apples off the spoon, and you can use that too. There's hair on me. That's great. <laughs> okay. So you're going to dump that out, and then what's the next step when you dump it out? The next step when we dumped it out is we need to spread it and make it even. To spread it and make it even. And then you do. The apples on top. I feel like this is going to be like the best thing. I don't know if you guys can see me in the frame, but yes. I think this is going to be the best thing that I've ever made just because it just really looks good. My favorite part is probably going to be the cream cheese. Why don't you, um, yeah, use your finger. Now you, you need to scoop a little bit more filling out. There's always a little more and then you can use your finger to scoop off the extra filling off the spoon. Okay, take the pan and put it on the white cutting board and then use the back of the spoon to, to spread the cream cheese. Good job. This looks so good, honey. Just spread it out evenly and then you spread your apples. You don't have to spread it all the way to the corners of the pan. Just spread it on top of your layer of really difficult to um, manage, roll. manage. <laughs> the crescent roll was a little bit more difficult to roll than we thought, so. Can I take a look at it? Yes, and then put it in the sink. Good. Okay. And then you can use your fingers with the cooled apples and sprinkle, make an even layer. Take the bowl in your hand. Okay, or not. <laughs> Awkward silence. Be like. Just. Do um, I have to do all these? Yes. Why don't you hold the bowl in one hand? Okay. Leave some for the uh, crescent roll pastry. So you just want to make an even layer. And if someone doesn't like apples, they could omit them entirely, or they could use pears, or hey. If you have a can of peaches in your cabinet or your pantry, drain off the juice and save it for later. And yeah, make just chop, up, make chop a, up your apples. Make a cocktail okay. if you're an adult. Yeah. <laughs> so there's, a, there's no end to what you can do with this. You could do a layer of, of pumpkin pie filling if you wanted that to. That sounds good. Right on top of the cream cheese. So the next part is, you wanna put that in the sink and wipe oh, your hands man. off? Hey. Okay, so grab your um, second layer of puff paper, or excuse me, crescent roll dough. Bring it over to your area. Work with it in front of the camera. There you go. Okay. okay. I know, mother. So, yep, you peel it off gently, and then you put your layer on top and try to just spread it out a bit manage it yeah you just have to yeah try not to put so much pressure on because we don't want to squash your delicious cream cheese yeah that's what i'm trying not but guess to. what it's not perfection this is about kids cooking Ooh, dropped it this is about kids cooking and developing confidence Ooh, and having and fun I, and I, oh. i'm pretty sure it's going to largen as we bake it it might i don't know but guess what you don't know until you try and it's not about perfection. It is about making something yummy and easy and having a good time in the kitchen. And guess what? Your stomach doesn't know the difference. So just do go on to the next step, which would be. So you're gonna leave. Get the next step. So <laughs> um, we have to top with melted. So it's gonna be kind of like this. That's cool. Go I'm gonna it. eat that one. Guess what? We're not perfect, and that's okay. Don't dump it on. Just use the brush. Good. Okay, so what, mother? Just brush it on. You don't have to use it all. I can because butter is the best thing in the whole entire world. It makes everything. <laughs> Anything with.
without butter is not perfection. <laughs> Should I top it on the apples too? Sure, why not? I personally would not use all the butter because then it might get greasy. So this is where your brush comes in handy. All right, and when you get satisfied with your butter layer, then you can sprinkle on your sugar cinnamon mixture. I mean, I'm still gonna eat that because it still has the dough on it. But I'm just gonna do. It. I'm gonna wash my hands. Cause... Excuse me. Oh my goodness. Oh, I... to be ten years old again and burp whenever you want. <laughs> Let's try to have a little decorum. Now hold the cup, the glass in your hand, and just sprinkle the sugar on evenly. So then once you get finished, you don't have to do that, babe. Why? Right. Well, because it's kind of messy. Why don't you, oh my goodness. I think you're gonna be eating this all by yourself. Um, just sprinkle it around, mostly on the dough, and we'll pop it in the oven and we'll pause and pause the video. And then um, you can show everyone your completed dessert. Sopa Pia style with our beautiful Bristol Barrow honey from our local bees. So, you want to say goodbye and I'll pause the video for now? Bye, sister! Hi, everyone! I am really sorry for burping, and I really apologize. It was my mistake. I need to have more manners. Here is the finished product. It looks really good. And we have some Bristol Berry, hon Bristol Barrow honey that we're just going to drizzle on. We got this from the bees. It's new. It's fresh. Yeah. So what style of dessert is that when you drizzle honey onto something? It is called sopapia. Sopapia. I you can add a little more. Bring the jar closer to you so you don't get honey all over the yep, island. Nice. Okay. Go ahead and drizzle. It's fun. Just... Yeah, you don't actually. That's okay. You don't know. It's good to just drizzle it. And then every bite has a little teeny bit of honey. Can I lick it? Sure, why not? Don't double dip. Good. Okay, now put that down and try a bite of your delicious, it might be a little hot still. That's why it looks messy because we Let me cut it. Yeah, it's a little bit hot. Not too bad though. Mm. Take That's some of the good. cream cheese filling in the front. That looks amazing. It tastes like apple pie. Apple pie with cream cheese? Mm. Good? So next time we make it, how about we'll change the recipe for everyone. Instead of using four crescent rolls on the bottom and four crescent rolls on the top, we'll just have everyone purchase two rolls of crescent dough and use one whole roll on the bottom and one whole roll on the top. Mm -hmm. Sound good? All right, you wanna say goodbye? <laughs> really good. Subscribe. Hit the like button and comment what you want us to do next. This is really good. I recommend it 10 out of 10. Thank you all for watching. Goodbye.